change the subject to my book, Scorpions for Breakfast, and uh, was a little bit disenchanted, if you will, about how he was portrayed uh, in the book. I believe that when we were in the conversation that uh, I was in the middle of a sentence and, and, and he walked away. I wasn't angry at all. I, I, I felt a little bit uh, threatened, uh, if you will, in, in, in the attitude that he had because I was there uh, to welcome him. I was there to welcome him. That's I what I put my finger. Yeah. <laughs> what does she mean That's by kind threatened? Of, right, right. Well, that was an I mean, interesting word. But here, so here you could tell by this photo kind of how <laughs> tense this was. Um, so here's what the White House said. They issued a statement as well. No shocker there. After their meeting, after their last meeting, a cordial discussion in the Oval Office, the governor inaccurately described the meeting in her book. The president is looking, looks forward to continuing taking steps to help Arizona's economy grow. Well, I don't know that we're ever going to get the true story, what actually happened there uh, from either side there. But let's also bring in our friend, Ron Brownstein, who is not with us in person today. Where are you today, Ron? Good in morning. spirit, in Washington and route to Florida. Uh, in Washington and uh, route to Florida. South Beach. <laughs> head, 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 heading south. Uh, oh. Might be, might, 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 might hit South Beach somewhere along the way. You see how he's there? Hit south You're Beach. going. He's done it. You're going. <laughs> he's like, but don't tell yeah, my yeah, boss. Right, 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 exactly. All right, so who wants to start with this, um, the, uh, the president and the Arizona governor? Because what's really going on here? It's, I mean, well, publicity. No, it can't be. No. It can't be. Is that not really good publicity for anyone, is it, Ron? What do you think? No, so I, look, the backstory here, I mean, whether there's a personal dispute over how she portrayed the meeting, the backstory is the federal government is suing the state of Arizona over its very tough immigration law, and the state of Arizona, like virtually every state with a Republican governor, is suing the federal government to block President Obama's health care law. There is a lot of systemic conflict between the two sides uh, that is kind of baked into this confrontation. And in fact, if you look across the board, I wrote a column about this a couple months ago, compared to the 1990s, there's just much more conflict between this administration and Republican governors than there were between Bill Clinton and Re Republican governors in the 90s, just part of the general polarization of our politics. The governors are being brought into the kind of very intense conflicts that we see in Washington. And I think that's the real backstory. These two leaders are really at odds over big issues. And I think that is uh, somewhat behind this kind of personal confrontation. But it wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me at all that the president did try to check her when it came to his book. I mean, so it's not like this is the first time we've heard him described as being thin-skinned. Uh, Bobby so, Jindal uh, was, has also said the same well, thing. Well, I mean, let, let, when I ran the, when I went, ran the Chicago defender, defender a few months before uh, I took over, uh, we were the last paper. Here's the most historic black newspaper in uh, the country, the last paper to endorse him and the previous publisher. Let's say that was a little issue between him and the then senator. Uh, mm -hmm. And, of course, from that point on through the election, uh, we didn't get a single ad that ran in the newspaper because he said, uh, make them pay for that. So it's not like he's not thin-skinned. So, yeah, he probably did check her.